today we're going to draw the tiger. I'm just using a 2B pencil and we're going to start off with a round shape. I'm just very, very gently touching the page just so I can see it. You can do it even gentler than that if you want. Marking down both sides of the nose bridge and this is where the mouth and the nose is going to be. So you can see I'm starting to work on the shape. Here I'm putting a couple of curved lines there. That's where a lot of the shaggy fluffy cheeks are going to be and a line across here is where the eye is going to be. Doing, making like a triangle there. So I'm just building up some shapes. Many ways of drawing. Today I'm using shapes. Inside those triangles, I'm going to very carefully put some round circles for the eyes. You can see what I'm doing here is sort of some curves around here like this. So I'm slowly shaping it, it's like sculpting away bits. The nose is going to be around about here, just down from the first circle you drew. And again, you see that sort of a bit of a curve there? Curves one way then the other, just to make up the shape of the nose. And what I'm doing there is a wiggly line. And that's going to be the shiny highlight of the eye. Now I'm going to draw the bit that we're going to colour black underneath that. So there's a circle underneath that sort of funny white shape. Line down the middle here. And to split the top lip. And here we're going to have some fangs. And we're going to have the mouth open a bit. The video camera's not quite getting down there. I'm going to have to move the camera a bit. Hold on. Okay, that's better. You can sort of see that shape there, which is the chin. The sides of the lower jaw. Whiskers coming in out here. So it's starting to have that big cat look now. Now, working out how these stripe patterns are going to go. So, finishing up the bottom part of the eye this time, pressing a little bit darker, darkening up that. It's like putting eye makeup on it at the moment. And because we've gone darker there, just a little bit darker in the eyes as well. Just press a bit harder. Now what I'm doing is I'm just shading the top part of the eye. See how I leave the bottom part pretty much white. Darkening up a bit here, nose holes, little line there, darkening up the bottom. So I'm just shading in little bits here. You can see here where the 2B is much darker than say a HB, so I'm getting those dark lines as I press really hard. Shading on one side of the nose, now yeah, a few more guidelines here. Doing some very light lines so I know where to put the stripes when I have to. And now I'm even putting that, working out where I'm going to put the end of the furry cheek, it's going to come out even further. Now working out where to put the ears. Okay, you don't want the ears too big. Like eyes, ears, that small it makes the head look bigger. Now I'm going to start moving in with the stripes. I do sort of zigzaggy lines pressed closer together to look furry and I press quite hard with the pencil. And so I'm doing this on most of the stripes that I've already marked out gentle. I'm just going over them harder and sometimes a bit thicker. 
reckon I'll speed up this bit so the video doesn't get too long and boring. But if you are drawing along, you might just want to pause this bit and then catch up. In any of my videos, sometimes you just want to pause and catch up and then keep going. It's a great thing about YouTube, really. So I'm putting a bit of shade on one side of the face here. I'm actually shading between the whiskers, um, sort of shading that negative space between whiskers. So I put those whiskers there as guidelines and I'm leaving white bit. If you're really clever with a sharp rubber you could probably wipe out a bit. So now I'm just marking in some whiskers against okay, just so I, I know where they are. So I'm now colouring in the negative spaces between the whiskers. Because the whiskers are very important on the tiger, we shouldn't miss that. Now here on the whisker pad, I'm also doing a little bit of shading. And this will look a little bit like stripes as well. They're very different from the other stripes I'm doing. They're more sort of broken up, more disjointed, more spotty. More stripes on the other side, again, very close together, not broken up like the snout. These are more continuous. More tricky shading in between the whiskers. Now getting back to these uh, little broken lines on the whisker pads. Sort of like the half stripes, half dots. Bit of shade on that side of the nose. Now darkening up the fangs and the bottom lip and the top lip here. A bit of fur there. Okay, I've got this tricky shading between the whiskers. A lot of work leaving the whiskers like that, but it usually pays off. Now shading in the tongue. See just under there, yeah, it's going to be a bit darker. And the bottom lip here is quite dark too. Dark and shiny, so it's not all completely black. We're leaving little bits of white here and there. Right, he's got black lip gloss on. We darken both sides of the fang there to make it stand out. And still a little bit more shading on the tongue. Now under the chin here, so I press quite hard and I flick the pencil up and it comes off the page. So it goes from a heavy dark line to, to sort of petering out, it doesn't just stop suddenly. And some little spots there on his chin. Now really darkening in the negative spaces between the whiskers here. Nice strong lines happening here. So I have to make strong lines on this other side of the face too. So I'm looking now for little spots that I think can be darkened up a bit more, like around the fang, maybe around this whisky here. teeth at the bottom of his jaw there. Now I'm giving it very gentle shading all over where it should be so like an orangey tan colour. And this is where I can leave some bits like around the eye there, leave it white. So 
So by giving this a bit of shade, it makes that look white. Same with his forehead, just giving it a bit of a shade. Hold the pencil this way, it shade a lot quicker, so you get more pencil contact with the paper. these ears up a bit. A bit of fluff coming out of that ear there. Put to the top of the part of the ear here. It has a dark bit there and a dark bit there. And a light bit in the middle. Same here, dark tip, dark base, light bit in the middle, and some hair coming out from inside the ear. More gentle shading to represent his hand. Always looking over, thinking bits that can be a bit darkened up, like here, inside the whiskers, it was looking a little bit greyish, so I'll darken that up and make it stronger. Now I'm throwing more whiskers out here, and whiskers up here too. These eyes look like they need darkening up again, because they have to really stand out. So I'm pressing really quite hard here. If you had a 4B pencil or 6B, it'd probably be good to go up under that darker one now. You see, I'm still leaving the bottom part of the eyes just pretty much white. Shading in the top, blackening the center, and leaving the bottom part like it's catching the light. Now I'm smoothing out some of this shading here. More shading on the forehead. So I'm shading with the fur to make it look a bit like fur. And still even a little bit more shading on this side of the face. Sometimes with shading you have to layer it, just do it very lightly, then go over it again lightly, then go again until you get the shade that you want. Hope you guys have enjoyed this How to Draw a Tiger. If you have enjoyed this, maybe you want to check out a couple of my other videos like How to Draw a Tasmanian Devil or How to Draw an American Alligator. See you next time.